Well, the excitement is reaching a fever pitch for the arrival of Pope Francis in the United States in less than four hours. The pontiff comes to Washington, D.C. Tuesday after celebrating a third and final mass on the island of Cuba. The pontiff celebrated mass at the shrine of Cuba's patron, uh, patron saint, the Virgin of Charity of El Cobre, which... He visited after arriving in Santiago late Monday. Francis arrived in Santiago after celebrating Mass earlier Monday in the eastern Cuban city of Alguien, telling tens of thousands of people to hear Jesus' invitation to overcome resistance uh, to change. Uh, Pope Francis met with Fidel and Raul Castro in Havana at the start of the, his Cuban trip. But several leading dissidents have criticized the Pope for not accepting their requests to meet him during his visit. Now, for more on the pontiff's visit to America and look ahead to his planned trip to Africa, my colleague Esther Gethu-Yuwat is here to tell us. Esther? That's right, Vincent. The pontiff's visit in the U.S. has elicited excitement and the enthusiasm is also building in Africa for his up upcoming visit in November. I sat down with one of the priests in a Catholic church in Silver Spring, Maryland, whose choir will be performing during the papal visit here in Washington, D.C. The excitement surrounding the Pope's right. visit to right. the U.S. is building right. as thousands are hoping to be a part of this historic visit. Father Jacek Ozichowski of St. Camilla's Catholic Church in Maryland says the Pope's message will not only be to preach the Word of God, but also to address issues facing the world today. Holy Father will bring the message of hope, but also of, of challenge, uh, especially challenge to uh, the leaders uh, of the United States. Um, in a few months, there will be a climate change conference in, in Paris. I mean, a very decisive moment in the history of, kind of humanity. During his visit, the pontiff will also address the 70th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Father Jacek sees this as an opportune time for His Holiness to speak directly to the leaders of the world. I'm hoping that uh, he will continue to kind of challenge them, especially those from uh, the richer uh, nation to do what they must uh, to address the issues of um, of poverty, of of injustice, uh, of of climate change. Uh, Jesus said to those who have been given much, much will be required. The continent of Africa also awaits His Holiness Pope Francis' visit this November. He will visit Kenya, Uganda, and the Central African Republic. Julie Sarwat, an immigrant from Tanzania, works at St. Camilla's Catholic Church, which also holds a multicultural mass every Sunday. She hopes the pontiff will address the issue of corruption. I'm sure he's going to talk about corruption, because most of our, our leaders are corrupt. And uh, we, I mean, we take so much, they take so much from the poor, even the aid that is being given to the to the country sometimes most of it does not go to do the project it goes to the somebody's pocket the pope has also demonstrated his commitment to improving relations between muslims and christians an issue the vatican says he will address during his visit to africa we have uh, problems with uh, you know different kind of religions fighting like uh, the muslims and the catholics or christians and the muslims things are not that all right. So since we all believe in one God, we expect that he will say something about unity for us to live in peace. This leader of the Roman Catholic Church is also known as the Pope of the Poor, who does not shy away from speaking his mind. But how does Father Jacek characterize his holiness? I see uh, Pope Francis being a person of great integrity, uh, not only living simple lifestyle, something that inspires a lot of people, but also uh, continuing uh, to challenge the powerful. For now, all eyes are on the Pope's visit in the United States, and analysts will be delving deeper into his speeches throughout his stay. The Pope has a very busy schedule ahead. He is set to address the U.S. Congress Thursday and the U.N. General Assembly on Friday in New York. Vincent.